about us as a team uh, is something that I've been very vocal about from the beginning of the season was the belief that if we lose um, a Virat Kohli early or whoever it is in the team that it's going to do nothing to our belief within ourselves because that's what I truly believe is, wanna, is going to make us win this competition. So as a dressing room it's always having that belief in what, whoever else is coming, Shafane, David, whoever, everyone played their small little part for us to get across the line. So we don't rely on this one superstar innings that's going to win us the trophy. That will come. But our focus is our small roles within the team. Whatever happens, someone will pull us through on the day. And we always have that belief. Need money for celebrations? Offer emergencies. Presenting Credit B. Loans anytime, anywhere. Devdad Padikal, Nadeep Saini, Yuzvendra Chahal, they were a part of this team just yesterday. But now, of course, they're on the other side and it's time for Battle Royal. Us, Royal Challengers Bangalore, play against Rajasthan Royals and we'll speak about this game on Credit B Presents Game Day. There are two ways for you to bowl a maiden over and pick a wicket. One is to bowl the way Harshal did against KKR and the second way to do it is to still be like Harshal and just be out of the nets. That way you're giving away nothing. Uh, Harshal, thanks for being with us. Congratulations on that incredible feat. Uh, must you. have been special. It was special. I mean, uh, I didn't realise at that time but uh, bowling two back-to-back -back wicket maidens in, uh, in a T20 game, let alone IPL, is a, is a big deal. So, so yeah, great to have that uh, under my belt. Okay, now what's uh, going to be there for us to look forward to is this game against the Rajasthan Royals and uh, Yuzi, you've known him for what, 20 years now through Haryana cricket, <laughs> yeah, you've played 11 at years. 11 years, you've played together at RCB as well and suddenly now you find him on the other side, yeah. um, is that a little strange? Yeah, it is a little strange but, uh, but you know, once we step onto the field, we are all professionals and uh, we keep the friendship outside of the field yeah. and uh, there's going to be some banter before the, before the game begins but once we get into the game, it's all, uh, it's all about the game. Mike, uh, at RCB, we've had one up, one down. The Rajasthan Royals look very dominant. How much of a difference does that make going into a game against them? Not hugely. I mean, we're obviously going to prepare as best we can, uh, like we do for every game. Um, you know, we were just slightly off in that first game. Obviously, a tight match, and then we played really nicely in the second one in terms of absorbing a bit of pressure and then obviously yeah. being able to throw it back. So, I guess from RR's point of view, they've been pretty dominant. So it's up to us to try and apply some pressure to them, and that's obviously what our you know what our preparation is all about. Uh, some familiar names and faces there. Can't really call them foes, they're friends. Yuzvendra Chahal, Devdat Padikal, Navdeep Saini. Does that help you as a coach because you've seen their game so closely? So does information get passed on? I think it probably helps both parties, really. I mean, they know a lot about us and we know a lot about them. So right. once again, it's probably just down to, to how well people deal with pressure on the day. Um, you know, all good players that you've mentioned and all, uh, you know, have done well for RCB at times in the past. So. Um, yeah, look, we're looking forward to taking them on, but obviously uh, we're looking forward to also try and get one over them as well. And, uh, how are we looking uh, for this game against uh, Rajasthan Royals? Well, we're looking forward to getting to Wankhede. Uh, obviously, yeah. both our games have been at DY, which, DY Patel, which is quite a different surface and different surroundings, different boundary dimensions. So our first chance at Wankhede, we're going to have to adapt quickly to those different size of the boundaries, uh, you know, whether we're on a used surface or a, or a new one. Uh, we know there's going to be due, so that's not a, an excuse for anybody, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Bowling in the power play on an Indian pitch, writing the song that binds the team together or making coffee for the team, which one's the easier job? Um, probably making coffee, I reckon. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> probably, out of the way. Yeah, probably bowling's the hardest, I think. <laughs> a little birdie uh, just uh, dropped in a word saying that you're the man who's writing a song for the team. Uh, to be able to sing together, what's that? Tell us a little more about it. Yeah, look, obviously, um, after the last win, um, Captain Fath said, um, you know, what, what do we do at RCB after, after we win a game? And um, the answer was nothing. So, right. um, you know, the chat was, can we come up with something that sort of brings us all together and, and we celebrate our win um, in the dressing room? So, yeah, I've been um, handed the task of putting something together that hopefully we can sing next game. 
That's incredible. And the next game is against the Rajasthan Royals. This is game day. Uh, you're going to be up against your friend uh, Joss Butler. How are you preparing for that? Yeah, well, hopefully he's um, off the back of 100. So hopefully he's used his, his runs up. But um, <laughs> look, he's a, he's a brilliant player. Um, he's done it around the world. Um, so, you know, hopefully um, I can swing one back and, and get him early and, and we can see the back of him early on. Let's talk about Glenn Maxwell. That's a question that's been pouring in uh, from every corner on social media. When is he going to be out and when are we going to see him on the field? Oh, look, it's pretty clear, you know, from a Cricket Australia point of view, no contracted players are available before the 6th of April. So, uh, regardless of when they arrive over here, no one can play until the 6th. So, uh, we've been well aware of that, as have every other side. So, uh, we've planned for that. Uh, Maxi will be uh, with us and available from the 9th. Well, so that's all we have for you ahead of this game between RCB and Rajasthan Royals here on Game Day. It is going to be an exciting game and we can't wait to watch it and cheer the team on with you.